Heavily guarded by the Ghana Police Service, the embattled convener for the hashtag Fix the Country movement, Oliver Baka, walked into the Ashaman District Court for the hearing. Oliver Baka has been in police custody since Friday when he was picked up for threatening comments he made on social media that sought to indicate the staging of a coup if the electronic transfer levy, otherwise known as e-levy, were passed by parliament. During the hearing, the prosecutor, DSP Sylvester Sari, prayed the court to remand the suspect. He explained that the act by the campaigner was treasonable and hence could not be granted bail until investigations and a trial would be completed. However, the plea was opposed by the lead lawyer for the suspect, Anthony Akotoampao, who believed the suspect deserved to be bailed, especially after spending over 48 hours in police custody since his arrest. The Ashaman District Court remanded into police custody Oliver Baka for treason felony till February 28. Supporters of the convener who were not impressed with the remand handed Oliver Baka later masked up at the Ashaman police station. <laughs> The law states clearly that within 48 hours. So that is what we work with. Whether it's on the Friday, on the Saturday, on the Sunday, it is 48 hours. The law did not say that we have special cases where you can step beyond the 48 hours. And even if you want to do that, you could have placed him under a bill, which is what they should have done. And then later on, was you'll be appearing before the court. Oliver has no past history of being rowdy. He's not someone who is violent. He hasn't done any act that shows that he's someone who is capable of organizing the coup d'etat. And he hasn't said anything that shows that he wanted to do something like that. And Oliver did not say expressively that he was going to do a coup d'etat. I'm not a lawyer. But I know that even in terms of English language, the word coup has two meanings. And we need a context that Oliver used it. The other meaning is what he was referring to, not a coup d'etat. We've heard a lot of uh, incitement uh, comments made on radio stations, TV stations, not even abroad. This comment was made even outside the country. Okay, we were in this country just about a month ago when uh, a bodyguard or somebody in a camera okay, said the Asante King should give him the authority or the permission to go and slaughter the head of a chief from the Doma and bring it. Up till now, okay, the IGP down Paris in this country, didn't he see that video? Hasn't any of the uh, 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 national security people heard of that video? But nothing has been done. We are not saying that the fact that uh, uh, that person made a comment and gone scot-free means everybody can do the same. But no one is above the law. And if the law would affect me and I will be treated as, uh, as such in accordance with the law, then if you also do it, you are supposed to be treated samely. At the time of leaving the scene, the lawyers of the suspect were seeking access to Oliver Baka, who was on a hunger strike. We will fix the country! Free Oliver! So not all interested parties who made their way to the Ashaman District um, Court have been served with what they were expecting and that is because the ruling is that um, the Fix the Country convener Oliver Baca has been remanded into police custody until February 28. He has also been charged with treason felony. Reporting for City News, my name is Kweku Adiyama Ansa.